When Amy Jung and her son Ethan visited the Humane Society in Door County, Wisconsin, they hadn't planned on adopting a pet. However, 21 pound pudding seemed to choose them, according to the shelter director. The cat, brought in after its owner passed away, appeared relaxed and friendly, typical for cats put up for adoption after their owner's deaths. With her experience as a pet owner, Amy knew the importance of setting boundaries when introducing a new pet. However, in the excitement of adopting Pudding, she left her bedroom door slightly ajar that night, a decision she would regret deeply. After ensuring Pudding was comfortable, Amy tucked her son into bed and settled down for the night. Unaware, she drifted off to sleep as Pudding silently entered the room. On the other side of the house, Ethan was also unaware of the unfolding events. When Ethan finally heard his mother's screams, he rushed to her room to find her alone and frightened. In a state of shock, Amy was unable to act, leaving Ethan to take charge. In a panic, he called his aunt for help, desperate to assist his mother in the unexpected and frightening situation. While en route to the hospital, Amy's sister noticed that Amy's condition was more severe than just bites and scratches. Amy struggled to form coherent sentences, indicating a more significant issue. Upon examination, the medical team determined that the bites and scratches were not severe. However, during the medical history inquiry, Amy mentioned the new cat, prompting the doctor to pause. Recalling a similar case, the doctor shared a story of a patient in the UK who experienced chest pains due to constant prodding from her cat. Amy was taken aback by the revelation, causing her to reconsider her perspective on domestic animals. Meanwhile, Ethan anxiously waited in the waiting room, grappling with guilt over not being able to respond to his mother's distress sooner. Despite his mother's previous reassurances about his deep sleep, Ethan couldn't help but feel responsible for the delay in seeking help. When Amy finally emerged from the doctor's office, Ethan's relief was palpable. However, as she explained the situation, Ethan's only desire was to return home and address the presence of the cat. Ethan's mother tried to reassure him, emphasizing that he had done everything he could to help her. However, Ethan couldn't shake the feeling of guilt. What if he hadn't insisted on adopting Pudding that day? Would things have turned out differently? Pudding hadn't had an easy life. He'd been in and out of shelters for years because families kept giving him up, so he felt compelled to help. How could a cat really be responsible for this? Amy explained to Ethan that Pudding had sensed her diabetic seizure and jumped onto her bed to wake her up by gently nipping her face. When Amy didn't respond, Pudding ran to Ethan to alert him, ultimately leading to his mother receiving help. When Ethan got home, he felt an overwhelming urge to show his gratitude to Pudding by showering her with treats. He believed that Pudding had saved his mom's life, and he wanted to repay her kindness. However, the doctor had some surprising news for him. Pudding didn't need treats, she needed training. Somehow, Pudding had learned to detect illness in humans, much like the case the doctor had mentioned earlier. This revelation sparked an idea in Ethan's mind. He remembered that Pudding had been brought into the shelter with another kitten, Whimsy. If Pudding could save lives, maybe Whimsy could too. Ethan and his mom decided to give Pudding and Whimsy a new purpose in life. With their calm and friendly temperament, Pudding and Whimsy became therapy cats, helping people with anxiety and detecting seizures like Amy's. Their story inspired many, including Amy herself. If something or someone hadn't pulled me out of that, Amy told the Green Bay Post-Gazette, I wouldn't be here. This experience made Amy realize the importance of pets like Pudding and Whimsy in saving lives. She wondered if more should be done to train and support animals like them.